Hi, Cassandra. I'm Hiya. Mike, and this is Rick. In a London special effects studio, a brave model waits to have her face preserved as a lifelike mask. Now this is a silicone material. Silicone is an often rubber-like material that includes silicon and other chemical elements. I'm hoping this is going to do it. First, a cap is placed over Cassandra's hair. Next, a thin layer of Vaseline is brushed over her eyebrows and lashes to prevent them from sticking to the mask. Then, a crucial step in the process, the gooey stuff. Artists paint her face in quick-drying silicone, starting with the eyes, nose, and mouth. She has to sit motionless as they devote about an hour to brushing the icy cold silicone under her face. It takes about three or four minutes for the silicone to dry. Then the model's face is wrapped in bandages, rather like a living mummy. Nice and solid. The hardened material comes off, followed by the newly created mold which conforms to the shape of the model's face. Look at that smile. <laughs> wow. You said modeling was easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's, good. it's probably one of your most in layer resin. At a workshop, the artists create a series of positive and negative masks. That cute. The whole process takes about 10 minutes. Top. A master mold is then prepared. The artists mix a soft silicone with a combination of chemicals to alter the mask's color, creating a natural, uniform shade that's similar to human skin. The mixture is then injected into the master mold. When it's dry, a face is created. A touch of makeup helps bring the skin to life. Eyebrows and lashes are carefully added. It can take up to three hours to do one eyebrow. The completed mask has all the fundamental aspects of real human skin. It has more than just the look. It has the feel. A record of one person's face preserved in a moment in time.